All right, guys, I am replaying this game. Um, we've actually only played it through Act 1. Uh, I kept getting game-ending bugs that caused me not to play it. So, I just took a break. Now, with Wrath of the Righteous coming out, I want to play this. So I went online, did a little research on builds and classes. Picked the Grenadier, an Asimar, Emberkin. I've got a couple builds for certain characters, like Amari um, and Lindsay. So we're going to play this. I am playing it on easy. I'm not looking for a challenge. I just want to play this game, get the story before Wrath, and then uh, make it a, a quicker video for you guys since you're so you don't have to watch hundred hours of gameplay let's go ahead and get started um, I'll be letting the dialogue speak for myself most of the time whenever I have to read I will read but I'm gonna be read very little our story started at the mansion of an Aldori sword lord drawn by the promise of a most dangerous task and a commensurately huge reward heroes of all stripes gathered here Forever. It didn't even say what this was for, just that the Aldori were looking for heroes. Who are the Aldori anyway, rich folks? If you can't be patient, no one's keeping you here. Just go back to your mountains or whatever hole you crawled out of. The Aldori Sword Lords run the premier school for the dueling arts. They're also the richest and most influential group in this part of Brevor. Take that tone with them, and they'll teach you some manners pretty quickly. All right, you purple toad, just shut your trap. And if you can't, I'll help you. Hush! Quiet! They're coming. Greetings, everyone. I am Sword Lord Jamandi Aldori. And this is Lord Mayor Yosef Selenius of Restov. Welcome to my mansion. We thank you from the bottom of our hearts for responding to our call. You may be few, but that's unavoidable. We need only the best of the best for this task. And I see true heroes before me, strong and fearless. Exactly what Restov needs. Thank you, Lord Mayor. Now, to the point. South of here, just beyond Brevois border, lies a region known as the Stolen Lands. This is disputed territory, and while it's long been claimed by nearby states, it's never been truly taken. I won't bore you with the legal technicalities. Suffice to say that anyone with enough courage and power to seize the Stolen Lands and name themselves Baron or Baroness, claiming dominion, well, None of the neighboring states would be able to challenge it. Of course, Restoff would be first to recognize the legitimacy of this new state, as well as the noble title of its founder. Unfortunately, one serious obstacle stands between you and this title. A gang of bandits hold sway in the Stolen Lands. Their chief, who they call the Stag Lord, considers himself the rightful owner of these lands, and no one has yet been able to challenge his power. Bring me his head, and you'll be able to return to the Stolen Lands as their legal ruler. Any questions? There's a whole team of us who exactly will receive the Baron's title. I will, of course. I'm the leader of this team, after all. Don't worry, though. I'll make it worth your while to help me. We haven't yet begun, and you already speak of Gideon rewards. What makes you think we'll even succeed? There's little point arguing over who gains the title, when we'll most likely lose our lives there. <clears throat> if I may please answer the question. We believe you're all equally deserving of a noble title. Over the course of your expedition, it will be up to you as a team to decide which of you is best suited to rule. 
Why not just recognize this stag lord as Baron? That's a good point. As I see it, this stag lord already holds power over the region with confidence. Many noble bloodlines were started by bandits who just got lucky, weren't they? Perhaps because we do have standards to maintain. This room has seen many celebrations of adventurers, and even those who just got lucky. But giving a noble title to a bandit lord? <laughs> As that's one thing that's never happened here, and it won't while I still breathe. You're helping us find a barony. What do you gain from such generosity? Don't ask stupid questions. Why should you even care? What they have to gain and why, that's for Lady Aldori and I to discuss. It's none of your concern. Your only concern is to swing your sword around or whatever it is you do. Of course we stand to benefit from this enterprise. But if you're concerned that we intend to rule your country from afar, using you as a front, well, please know that these concerns are unfounded. Let's just say that we have a strong interest in the region's stability. We have need of a ruling power we can negotiate with, not bandit gangs and monster hordes. Spoken words and political intrigue? What rewards can we expect exactly? And what reward would you seek beyond a noble title and your own lands? We'll absorb the costs of preparing and equipping your expeditions. Once you return victorious, Restoff will also allocate you a significant sum to provide financial support for you to establish your country. Essentially, we'll help you build your capital. I hope such a reward is satisfactory. Words, words, words. Significant, financial. I can't fill my belly with pretty words. Of course, there will also be an official banquet held in your honor. All of Rostov's high society will gather to celebrate your feat. Now you're talking. It's clear as day. Excellent. You venture forth tomorrow. For now, you can take some time to get to know one another better. Or you can head straight to your guest rooms to get some rest. You'll find we've already prepared supplies for you there. And thank you again for agreeing to take part in this expedition. I wish you luck. Thank you again, with all my heart, for replying to this call. The flare in your eyes reveals your courage. The unshakable will that distinguishes true heroes. I look at you, O oh champions of Restaurant. And doubt not for a second that you'll be victorious. So venture forth toward your feet. Go and return in triumph. Hi, my name's Lindsay. I'm a bard, though this is my first real adventure. So, shall we go teach this stag lord a lesson? We sure will. Just wait. We've plenty of great feats in store. I'm no hero, just a mercenary. And what are you a mercenary for? Is it only riches? Or maybe you want glory, too? Don't you want your feats to be remembered and glorified for centuries? Just listen. You know what the trouble with most heroes' biographies is? They're always written years later, based on the tales of, best case, people who saw things from the outside. Worst case, someone heard about it from their brother, who heard it from their friend, who heard it from their cousin, and so on, adding a new batch of lies each time. Every time I read about a heroic journey, I think to myself, why didn't they just bring a bard with them to write it all down properly? And then I thought, I could be that bard. I just needed to find a suitable hero and volunteer to follow along on their glorious adventure. A great plan, huh? And here we are, with a heroic journey lying before us. Who's going to be the hero? Some dwarf who keeps muttering about how we'll all die? Or maybe that horrific scythe lady? Oh, 
gods forbid Tartuccio. No way. Not a bad plan. It's settled then. I'll accomplish the feats and you write them down. Deal. All right. I'm going to my room to write about tonight. See you in the morning. All right, guys. So I'm going to be playing this character lawful neutral. Uh, I want to try to be lawful and have like a a line that I, I won't cross. Um, but being neutral will still give me the chance to to do a good thing or do an evil thing um and we'll see how that works out so let's take a look at my spell book let's give myself some cure wounds just in case and All right, just checking out what I'm starting with. All right, none of these guys will talk to me, right? Yeah. So, like I said, I'm going to let the game pretty much talk to me, talk for me. There will be moments where I will have to read the dialogue. Um, I want to be very brief with it. It's a lot of talking. Yeah, I don't need to show the tutorial anymore. Um... And there's going to be a lot of side dialogue. I just don't read. I'll just kind of skim through it. If you want to read it and you can't keep up with me, uh, just pause. And you'll be able to help, read everything help. you want. What's going on? The under attack. We need to help. Some villains broke in and started killing everyone. I barely made it. Hurry, we have to help the guards fight off the attackers or we'll all be cut down one by one. Let's throw a bomb at this fella. Too bad. For some reason, I thought we had to pick up our stuff, but I guess not. I don't need to carry needless things. But I will take your dagger, though. I like to pick that dagger up instead of the pole arm. He looks dead. Let's just shoot these guys. That works. I know he's limited on his bombs. I'd kind of like to save him for the final battle. If possible. Attack. You're just in time. A bit longer and I'd have been... Whew, I don't even want to think about it. Can you imagine what a terrible loss this would have been? But it's alright now. I'm safe, sound and unscathed. Ready to lead you to victory. Lady Jamandi is holding the line in the banquet hall. You know, the one where she had us gathered before. We need to make our way to her. And along the way, we'll try to save some of these dummies who are supposed to accompany us to the stolen land. Speaking of dummies, take this ring. Quiet now, so that little fool doesn't hear us. She might try to steal it herself. It's magical. It'll protect you. You'll need it while you work to defend me. Okay, so I know the trick to that. Um, that it's supposed to dime me out. Let's drop it.
I remember books are um, just lore. You can sell most of them. And that's what we'll do. I will uh, give you a moment to pause and read them if you want. Before I sell them. Oh, hey. This might be a perfect time for a bomb. <laughs> That's great. Ooh, yes, let's get all these potions. A lot of dead guys. Iron armor, heavy mace, new. No, don't need any of those. And they they literally did kill everybody here, didn't they? And there's my favorite, Amari. Yeah. He can't use anything, okay. If you've noticed, I'm using the turn-based portion of this. I kind of wanted to test it out. It wasn't in the last time I played it. And I was thinking about using it for Wrath. I really liked it in the Pillars games when they added it. Stupid, sweaty, and always looking for something to gobble up or lop the head off of? Calista, you saved me from such hero. <laughs> Alright. Got some potions, that's about it. a weird trample but hey we'll go with it you got anything on you Any potions what about you all Large person, cure wounds. It looks like they've knocked that down. I can't go out that way. Can I go this way? Yes. Anything else? All right. Let's not XCOM this, guys, and, and miss 
99% of the time. All right, so again, attack return. But I think there's a five foot thing, if I recall. Yeah, I can back up. And shoot. That potion. The if he's got anything, potion. We're just gonna rack up on potions. No. All right. So armor. This is the armory. No, don't need that. Power shield. Hey, the key. What have we here? This chest is full of gold. I guess it's for the guard's salaries. All things considered. Well, those freeloaders don't seem to have been working too hard for it. Maybe we should pocket it instead. What? No, we're heroes, not thieves. Who said we were stealing it? We'll just what? take the gold for safety so the assassins don't get it. And then we can heroically return it to Jamandi when this is all over. Stealing from a sword lord in her own mansion, she'd have our heads. How would she know it was us and not the assassin? How would she know? She would never know. Telling her. Don't drag me into this. You do what you want, but I'm not taking a single coin. Nope. Not even gonna touch it. Faces. I hope you're not so frightened as to swing at every shadow. It's me, Jaythor. I don't recommend advancing down the hallway, assuming you value your life, of course. There were a few people with me, and you can see what happened. And just how did they all end up dead while you don't seem to have a scratch? I'll answer but briefly and just once. Further scares and explanations will wait until we aren't being hunted by a group of assassins. Deal? All right. I'm undead. These traps are deadly to the living, but they're harmless to me. What do you mean, undead? Really? Like, zombies or skeletons or...? As I said, further explanations will wait until later. All you need to know right now is that we're on the same side. And we have to fight off a small army of hired assassins. Let's get to it. Alright. Look here. Go lens. Disarm that. Any more traps? Nope. Maybe he's got some spells. Let's get like right upon them so they can't come. Mm. Any last wishes? Nice. Let's let's go ahead and get it in there.
What will we have in here? Oh, I remember this. This is the I think we all we have to get them all up. Let me see which ones that brings them up. Hmm. if you hit that one no 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 you hit that what controls that one Let's see what we have in here. Good stuff to collect. More good stuff to collect. Oh, more good stuff. More good stuff. Is it just things to, to steal, basically? Bring them in here just in case my perception is not picking up the things. I think we're good. Of course, I wouldn't steal the guards money, but I just stole all that for them. That's kind of funny. And then the leader charged forwards. Uh, hey, wait for me. things despicable this is where i stand oh. do not hold back oh shit So it looks like she was gonna do some nasty stuff. Everything is so much fun with a little fire. What a night, huh? I thought I was all alone. It's good you're here. A bit boring, chasing fool assassins without anyone watching the show. It's not fun at all. Many people have died for nothing. You sound like a Kalashite, am I right? Of course. I'm from Kadira. But tales of hot deserts and shady oases can wait until the fighting's finished. But if you'd like to share a dinner and pleasant conversation, just say the word. I like making new friends. I don't think we've met. I am Kailis, one of the many here who seek a better fate, answering the call of Lady Jamandi. But unlike the others, I never dropped my guard, day or night. It's why I'm still alive. 